Hello friends, welcome to another episode of 10 minutes watercolor. My name is Jana and every week I bring you a simple 10 minutes watercolor tutorial for complete beginners. As the autumn is already upon us, I decided to paint some fresh juicy grapes, the symbol of the autumn. I have a piece of watercolor paper and I am taping it down to a piece of hardboard to prevent buckling and curling and to give our artwork some nice white framing. Now I have my big mop brush and I am just applying some clean water on the paper because once I go in with the first layer of paint I want it to run and spread freely. Let's add some color now. This is olive green and I randomly apply it on a wet paper but mostly in the upper part where the leaves will be. Now I do the same with the violet color. I don't want this initial layer of color too dark. This wash will just set the tone for the painting so that there isn't the, the bright white of the paper seeing through the grapes too much. I want to mute it down a little. I have here a bit of leftover indigo from previous painting, so let's use it too. A bit of muted green as well. This color is called Green Earth. It's nice grayish green, but if you don't have uh, this kind of green in your palette, you can use a bit of orange to mute down any bright green you have. And a little bit of orange. That is for the first layer of colors. You can see that it already feels pretty autumny. Now we need to let it dry and then we can continue. With a little help from my good old hair dryer, I can now move to the grapes. I'm painting some little round shapes for the grapes. The color is still quite watery, which is fine because later I want to add some more darker grapes on the top of these and I want them to stand out. So I'm using violet color, watered down and ultramarine blue. I mix these colors randomly, I switch between them randomly, I let the grapes touch one another to make the colors bleed into each other. I make them different sizes to make them look more natural. I leave out the upper green part of the paper because that is where the leaves will be. Now for the leaves, there will be two layers of them. 
The first one, not too dark and not too detailed. At this point, I do not care for the actual shape of the vine leaf. I just paint some spikes because the leaves are spiky and I use this subtle green color again. Let the green area dry and then you can continue with the detailed leaves that will actually bring the autumnal colors to the painting. I have orange color, but it's too bright and just like you can mute down a green that is too bright using a bit of orange, you can also mute down a bright orange with a bit of green. So I mix the orange with some leftover green in my mixing tray and I paint the vine leaves over the green layer of color. I want two leaves that are big enough to cover the whole area. For more color, I add a bit of carmine red into the orange wash while it's still wet the color would spread nicely. Now I'll add these little spiraled strings that you can find in vines, just here and there and I used my liner brush and green color for that. Very nice! Now we can add more grapes. The ones we painted before are already dry so we can go ahead and put some more on top of them. This time see that the violet color is more saturated, it's richer. And as I color the grape, I leave out tiny bit of space for the highlight. Just a bit of details for the leaves, I'm drawing red lines for the veins of the leaves, but as the leaves are still not completely dry, the color would run in some areas, but I don't worry about it. And for more texture, I like spattering a bit of color over the painting, so I'm going to do that with orange and violet colors. I load my brush with the color, watery enough, 
and then I beat the color out of the brush using another brush or a pencil. Very nice! I think our juicy grapes turned out just perfect. Guys, I'm so happy you joined me. Please let me know how you liked this video and stay safe. See you soon, bye!